Uh, this is the problem that we looked at in, uh, la in, in the lab last uh, Tuesday. I didn't have a chance to finish it. We were supposed to do this thing with uh, uh, several planes of symmetry. And in class, in the lab, actually, I did it with, for you with three planes of symmetry, two planes of symmetry. And now I would like to do that without any planes of symmetry. Okay? So let's make the part quickly. Let's continue right here. Okay, let's start with the part file. File. Uh, new. Part. <coughs> All right. Let's uh, quickly save it. File, save management. Save as. Desktop. New folder. No place of symmetry. All right, on a convenient plane, on that vertical plane, I will draw a uh, 4 by 10, uh, uh, 4 by 10 uh, rectangle. All right, let's uh, I mention this. So this is 10 inches. And this one is 4 inches. A, uh, and a circle, right? A circle, and uh, I think uh, I, uh, well, at least in the in the handout, it says the radius is uh, one, but uh, I'm going to change that radius to 0. 0.5 diameter one. All right, exit, pad it, mirror extent, which means in both direction by a length of one inch, so the total thickness is two inches. Now, I really don't need this to, to be nice and symmetric. I did because uh, I wanted to cut it with these vertical and horizontal planes, but here we're not cutting, uh, cutting it anyways. So let's apply material to this metal. Uh, let's make it out of steel. We're done here, so let's uh, quickly save. And we're going to go to analysis and simulation, generative structure analysis. I'm not worried about uh, making, selecting the right size uh, mesh and refinement and things like that. So we're now, I'll take the default mesh, and of course this is terrible. It's, a very, it's very big and probably it's linear also. But that's okay, so I'll just leave it the way it is, because that's really not the focus of this particular uh, uh, exercise. All right, so uh, now we're going to apply pressure. Pressure, uh, let's see now, this is pressure on this side. And we actually, uh, we, did, we did calculate the pressure. We applied uh, the total load is specified to be 2,000 pounds here. So I can either convert that into pressure so it gives a nice uh, looking uh, uniform distribution here, or uh, I'll apply load as it's specified in, in, in the handout. So we do apply a load of uh, pointing to the, in the Y direction, uh, 2,000 pounds. We don't have to, L, L, uh, LBF, uh, we don't have to Divide this by uh, you know a number because we're using applying the full load here, and the same thing on the other side. You see another uh, load here, same value, except that the sign is going to be negative here. All right. So right away we're going to save the analysis file. File save management. Save as this is the analysis. Save as. Uh, and we use the same uh, default value, default name, analysis one. Now, the problem is that if we run this thing, it's going to bomb out because this is uh, free to, to move as a rigid body. Oh, let, let's anyway run it and see what happens. Run it. And obviously, this says that it's not properly restrained. Uh, so, 
if you want to know what happened, we can always plot the deformation, and you can see that. And if you animate it, you can see that this object moves as a rigid body in space. Now, there's a quick and dirty way of fixing this thing, which I, in, I do not intend to show you how. I mean, you may already know, or you will find out, because that can be badly abused if you're not sure what you're doing. Anyway, I'm not going to do it like this. What we like to do is to prevent the rigid body motion using brute force. And the brute force in the chronic time literature is called the 1-2-3 uh, the rule. So what does that mean? One corner point, we say that does not move in any direction, uh, or in any, yeah, in any direction. For example, this point, you're going to say this does not move in direction X, Y, and Z. Obviously, if I run this thing, it's going to bomb out because this object is hinged about that point. You can still rotate about that, and uh, it's not going to be uh, uh, working. Now, the second, it is a second point. There's a second point. For example, this point. We can assume that it does not move in the direction, let's say, uh, uh, direction, see now, y, y being, here's the axis, y is this direction, does not move like that, but, and it does not move up and down, up and down is z. Now, when you think about it, it's still allowed to rotate about this axis, about this edge, and of course it's free to shrink because of the Poisson ratio effect you should be allowed. A third point, we want to prevent that rigid, uh, the, this, this rotation here that I just mentioned, uh, spin or spinning about that axis. So a third point, let me uncheck all of these. For example, this point, I will prevent it to uh, let's say go horizontally. Horizontally means in the direction uh, y. In this case, direction y. So direction y is this. Now, I have to admit that sometimes uh, you don't think good, and uh, uh, one of these things you may have to come back and change it to a different, uh, you know, a particular, a different direction. But uh, I have a feeling this is going to work. So first of all, let me save everything and uh, run it and. Uh, the praying element always helps. Hopefully you have forgo not forgotten anything. All right, it did work. So uh, we can see that. Here's the situation. Uh, change the rendering to material shading. And you can also animate it. <coughs> Where's the animation here? <coughs> right there. <coughs> Excuse me. So it does what you want. Now, this is called the one, two, three rule because of what we did here. Uh, one point is fixed from moving in direction one, two, three. Another point is fixed from direction, moving in two direction. And the final point is fixed to move in the uh, third direction. Anyway, uh, it, this is not always obvious. In principle, it doesn't matter which point you do, you take but uh, sometimes it's easy to make mistakes here. There is a, an easy way of avoiding this one, two, three rule that, believe me, I'm not telling you right now.